Hello everybody. Today I will uh, try to show you uh, how to repair or how to get a busy hard disk ready uh, via the terminal mode using a terminal connection from Dolphin SRP only using the terminal connection from Dolphin SRP and connecting it to a Seagate hard disk. I have connected the power to the Seagate hard disk through my power supply. So let me show you one by one. From this power supply, I have taken the power and connected it <coughs> to a reset switch for spark data recovery and this power will go to the hard disk along with the SATA connection. So this will go, the SATA connection is is in turn connected to spark here so a lot of uh, uh, connections here and there spark is connected from here to the usb of the computer so i put this when i put the switch on the hard disk will be ready to get power supply so i put it off for now <clears throat> so these are the primary connections I have made. Now one more connection which I shall make is that connect the power supply cable and the SATA cable to the hard disk and this connector which is for COM port is will be connected will be connected to the hard disk here so i have connected all these three connections power sata and com i am keeping it here <coughs> this is my uh, power supply reset switch this is the power supply and this is the switch to put it on so these were the basic connections now i shall shift my screen to the computer and I will show you that spark has been detected and I will power on the hard disk and I will show you the PuTTY firmware P-U-T-T-Y from PuTTY app showing Seagate terminal connection and the faults arising therein so I shall close this now Hello everybody, now since uh, we have everything ready and we will uh, start the PUTTY PuTTY software, here is my PuTTY software, I have to see the COM, I think it is COM 18 and speed is 38400 uh, and I am connecting to serial, com uh, uh, serial connection and saying open. So my COM screen is ready here. Now I shall open the Spark software and I shall connect to Spark. Since I am not seeing the PUTTY, I will click on PUTTY. The PUTTY screen has come here. I can see that uh, there is a busy error on my hard disk but I have not powered on my hard disk. So what I will do is I will power on my hard disk at the same time you can see the putty screen what will happen. When I click on putty you can see spin up, you can see the uh, process going on giving a 005 error on my screen mm. is giving me same errors throughout
so I will go on my hard disk and see whether it is clicking and stopping or what error. Since it is a 005 error, these errors are uh, have to be diagnosed as to what could be the problem. I will make it full screen. So you can see the 005 error, DOS firmware done, DOS file saved. Okay. Now I shall press Ctrl Z. I am getting F3T prompt. And you can see one thing. My hard disk is already got detected on. So what I shall do is I shall click on Spark. I shall create a project and I shall click on it's creating a project and the project is getting loaded let us see if it gets loaded or no or if there is a you know busy error coming here so my project is getting loaded <coughs> but not getting fully loaded in spite of being ready so I shall go on putty and see what the state is the state is again prompt I give a command v40 to see whether it obeys the command or not yes it has obeyed the command and it says zeros entries returned so you have seen friends that uh, I have shown you how spark can help you to see whether a Seagate hard disk is got repaired or not and if you want to see what is happening in the background you can use the putty software along with the terminal so the com has to be kept in mind whatever com putty is taking you have to adjust it to that com you have to adjust the baud rate and then you can see what is happening what is happening in the background so that you can make the necessary measures for old hard disk of 500 GB or 1 TB not recommended for new hard drives because we are operating only through the terminal and we are not operating through ATA commands so take care not to spoil your hard disk but uh, in short don't give commands on putty rather see what is happening in the background so once you see that there are background processes you have a diagnostic point of view that you have to still repair the firmware so thank you everybody for watching this video i hope you have realized that in combination of putty and spark with the uh, help of a com port you can see what is happening in the backgrounds so thank you everybody please like and subscribe my video